again. Good afternoon. Uh, as usual, uh, we are now here in the culinary arts workshop, Nerisedo Hango Ichires. Today we are going to see how we can just prepare uh, rice, which is called Chinese rice. Chinese rice, when you are going to cook Chinese rice, of course the main ingredient is rice. You have to boil your rice. I think you know where how you boil rice. Just you boil water and then cook your rice in the boiled water until cooked. Uh, for measuring water, when you, let's say that you, you use one cup of uh, rice and then you have to use three cups of, uh, of water. And then you also need a vegetables like a piece. We need also onions, green pepper, tomatoes, and the, and the carrots. And then procedures for cooking Chinese rice. You have to peel your carrots, of course, by using vegetable pillar. This is a vegetable pillar. You can call it vegetable pillar or carrot pillar. And then you peel your vegetable, carrots. Important thing, remember that when you peel vegetables, you can peel vegetables in just water. Here I use this system or three containers, one for peeling, uh, where I can put uh, vegetables which is already peeled, and then here is the uh, container for putting what I have just cut. Then you peel your carrots. Then you wash after peeling your carrots, you have to rewash. There's also other root vegetables. After washing, I'm going to cut. Have to be careful. Careful. I'm gonna cut my said one. Today I'm gonna prepare just for one, for one portion, portion or one, one, one person. Yes, this is a mouth. I'm gonna keep my carrot for using it in other preparation. And what I have to do just is cutting green paper. The same size. have to remove those seeds inside. The green paper.
I'm going also cutting my onion. And this is enough. Tomatoes. I'm gonna deseed my tomatoes and then use the shell. Okay. Here is my tomato. Yes, I have my mise en place. I think you remember where, what is a mise en place? Mise en place is just putting together what you are going to use, like vegetables, like uh, utensils or materials in order to facilitate your work, your work. The next step, I'm going to fly my vegetables together with, uh, with the rice. And then after that, I use this soya sauce. This is a soya sauce and it's better I use dark one. This is a dark soya sauce. After draining my sauce pot, I'm gonna mat butter for flying all those vegetables and rice. And the first vegetable to fly is just carrot. I'm gonna cook my carrots like uh, three minutes until tender. While cooking, also I have to be sure that my plate is ready for presentation.
my carrot is tender now. I'm going to add onion. Make sure you fry also your onion together and mix in order to avoid to stick on sauce pot. Then when your onion is tender, you also add green pepper. Okay, I have to season with black pepper and uh, and salt. I'm gonna season with salt and the and black pepper. And I also need to add my, my tomatoes. And remember that your peas must be cooked already, cooked or boiled in Saturday, in the Saturday water, in boiled Saturday water. And then how you can just know that your peas is uh, well cooked, you can just 
Yes, your, when your, your piece is uh, tender, means that your piece is, uh, is well cooked. I'm gonna use my piece. And the next is the rice. And you can ask yourself what is the difference uh, between uh, vegetable rice and the Chinese rice. Well, the difference is that in Chinese rice we also add that soya sauce. That is what am I going to do? I'm gonna add my soya sauce. Yes, from here now you can just correct seasoning. How you can correct seasoning? You have just to taste for, in order to know whether you are your seasoning you seasoning well or not. Mm. Well seasoned. Well. This is my Chinese Chinese recipe, Chinese rice. Okay. What am I going to do now is plating. Plating for my customer. This is our standards portion portion standards for one person You make sure that you put your, 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 your recipe or your food in the center of a plate. In the center, not... Well, this is my Chinese, Chinese slice. You can just decorate with uh, parsley, or you can use uh, like uh, tomatoes, or you can use and other color as a garnishing. Yes, this is my my recipe. Thank you for coming. See you again.
Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our workshop. The Sedel Hango Ichirezi Culinary Arts Workshop. Uh, I would like to welcome you uh, to our module, which is preparing vegetables. Today I'm going to show you how you can prepare a recipe called onion bajias. Onion bajias composed by, of course, the many ingredients of uh, that recipe is uh, our onions. Here I have onion, washed onion, and I also need flour, cut powder as ingredients, milk, salt, water, and egg. I'm going to prepare a recipe for four portion or four people. First of all, what I have to do is just shredding my onions. I'm going to shred my onion. And make sure that I have uh, uh, like a 10 gram of uh, my onion for four portion. 10 gram. Okay, 10 gram of onions. Okay, well, in my 10 gram of onions, what I need is butter fry. I would like you to follow how you can just prepare butter fry. What I need is just three spoon of uh, flour. You make sure that you respect a measure. One, two, three. And then in these three flowers, I'm gonna mix with the cut powder. For cut powder, I have to use only one teaspoon. Only one teaspoon. I don't forget season. I'm gonna season with the salt. Can use a, a pinch of a salt, salt and the and the white paper. As required. After mixing my flour and cut powder, I'm gonna also add one egg. Four tablespoon of water. One, three, okay, and the one, one tablespoon of uh, of a milk. This is a fresh milk. Okay. 
sorry. We can use a fresh milk in order to to add nutrition value in our butter flour. And then you have to mix it for getting a soft, thick mixture. You can use, while you're mixing, you can use a fork or you can use white rice, it's okay. And you have to be sure that you mix well, the mixture. have to mix well okay done and then after I'm gonna mix in my onions If you require it, you can also add more, more flour. And then the next step is just deep frying in hot cooking oil before deep frying make sure that your oil has just been cooked at sea 200 200 degree celsius Uh, now I'm gonna just make sure that my cooking oil are uh, in uh, 200 degrees Celsius, 200. And then for deep frying, I'm gonna just put my onion in now, this basket. Well, I have to cook my onions uh, in uh, from two far to, from two four to ten minutes, and then I remove it. You can wait for four to ten minutes, and then you remove it. When it become change color to become golden or brown as, as you can see. And then while you're cooking it, I'm gonna prepare my plate for, for dressing.
okay and after then it's done almost done after i have to drain all all oil After draining it, I have to switch off my stove and then present to the plate. Make sure that you remove carefree. Uh, the th the more thing is just an Indian Indian cuisine. You can also decorate by using uh, parsley. You can decorate by using other kind of uh, other kind of uh, vegetable. Well, this is as I said already. This is our. Our recipe, which calls uh, onion, onion badger, badgesias, badgesias. Okay, this is an end of my presentation. Next time we will see also other kind of uh, vegetables or other type of uh, vegetables or other way you can prepare your vegetables. See you, see you next time.